Oma. Nobody. And together we are? We'll call it Oma. That's right, Crafts with Oma. Are we going to do a craft today? No. No. We're going to read a story. We're going to read a story from a book that my father would read to me when I was younger. And I wanted to share these some of these stories in this book on to Elias because they were special to me when I was younger. So I just want to pass them on. This book is called 101 Famous Poems. Oh, so it's a collection a of oh, a thousand famous poems. So Elias wants me to, sh to read some of his poems that I've shared with him in this book. The first poem is called Little Boy Blue, and it was written by Eugene Field. The little toy dog is covered with dust, but sturdy and staunch he stands. And the little toy soldier is red with rust, and his musket molds in his hands. The time was when the little toy dog was new, and the soldier was passing fair. And that was the time when our little boy Blue kissed them and put them there. Now don't you go till I come, he said, and don't you make any noise. So toddling off to his trundle bed, he dreamt of the pretty toys. And as he was dreaming, an angel song awakened our little boy Blue. Oh, the years are many, the years are long, but the little toy friends are true. I faithful to little boy Blue, they stand, each in the same old place, awaiting the touch of a little hand the smile of a little face. And they wonder as waiting these long years through in the dust of that little chair. What has become of our little boy Blue since he kissed them and put them there? That was a good poem, wasn't it? Do you want me to read my very favorite poem? My very favorite poem in the whole world is also in this book. Okay, one of my favorite poems. This poem was written by Sergeant Joyce Kilmer. He was killed in action on July 30th, 1918, during no, World War I. No, we died. Yes, and this is his poem about trees. We died. I think that I shall never see a poem no, lovely no, as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Like that one? God made all trees? Yes, God made all the trees. Cow? Yes, He made all the trees, and all the trees are always lifting their arms in to pray. He made it? Yeah. What thing? Did you like those poems? Yeah, He made a tip. He made a tip. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed our poem reading. Um, we did it in our pajamas because it's story time. Okay, we will see y'all later. And remember, what should they remember? If you can't do a craft, read a story. Yay. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.